Is it July 4th yet? Wow. Hey everyone, it's Lori Finkelstein, reader, and I'm really looking forward to sharing some of my thoughts and systems, processes, and practices to help you, the real estate agent, not just get through this unprecedented, extremely difficult time for our world, but these are practices that when you put into play, they'll work regardless of what's going on in the world. And if you feel that you don't have the skills yet, well, that's okay, because I'm going to share a few things with you that since you're home and we're kind of all doing nothing, well, I'm not doing nothing. I'm working around the clock, but a lot of people are home with not a lot to do. This is a great time to get really good at things that will bulletproof your business. First and foremost, you have got to have a rigid schedule, especially for all of our young moms or young dads that are now overnight becoming teachers and uh, house domestic engineers and all kinds of things that potentially we didn't realize we had so much help with before. So I encourage you to have a rigid schedule, starting from the moment you wake up, keeping things normal, uh, still preparing your house the way you would have if you were leaving the office and going to work. Um, make sure that schedule starts in the morning and that you're time blocking all day long into the evening. And please, in that schedule, make sure that you've got in there taking care of you. Exercise, walking, uh, reading healthy blogs, um, listening to good music. Number two, you've got to focus on the business at hand. And those may be people that you are already communicating with. Because reality is, is that people still are going to need a place to live. We still have sellers. We still have buyers. We still have renters. So we want you to focus on that business that you have at hand, people that you are already communicating with. And make the decision that no matter what, in the month of April, you're going to have a sale. But know that if you were making between 10 and 20 connections a day prior to this, you will need to double and triple that. The pipeline you build today will determine what your quarter three is going to look like. So make those, make the calls, do video texting, send messages, do everything you need to do to build that pipeline and make sure you're coming from contribution. Make sure you're asking people how they're doing, how their family's doing, offer them resources. We do a lot more than sell houses. We help people with lots of things that affect their lives. So stick to those connections. Don't fool yourself. If you were making 10 connections before, you will need to make 30 moving forward. Our industry as a whole may start to narrow. And the people who are doing the activities are the ones that are going to be making a very big living at real estate as we move forward. You may hear my puppy in the background. Obviously, these are new noises now that we all work from home. Um, and number three, like for me, the most important thing that you can do right now to protect your business moving forward is that switch your mindset to future business. Yes, you've got to work on the business at hand, but future business, you've got to be working now for what you're going to do for the rest of this year. Please know that I'm here to answer questions. I love our real estate industry. Um, I'm very sad for what our world is going through, but I'm also very hopeful. I know how resilient we are. So get up, show up, and I tell everybody, heart open, heart open, head down. Remember, we're not changing what we do, we're changing how we do it. Sending all of you so much love.